I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Reverse Osmosis in a Refrigerator. Okay, so reverse osmosis is basically a water purification technique that some fridges use. So if you've ever gotten a cup of water that comes right out of a fridge, there's a chance it was using this technique. So what does it actually mean? Uh, well, let's go over osmosis, and then we can apply it to reverse osmosis. Okay, so let's imagine we have a system up here and it's filled with water uh, and it also has some impurities so basically these could be anything and they're not going to be harmful maybe just they're just chemicals that taste bad that you don't want to be drinking and so if you put it into a, contain a container with this is called a selectively permeable membrane uh, and basically what it means is that the pink dots or whatever impurities you have they can go to the left but they can't go to the right and then your water or your blue wiggly line can go to the left and they can go to the right so you're basically saying that these pink dots can get over here uh, but they can never get back once they've already gone there. So now if you wait uh, just a regular amount of time, you can let osmosis happen. And what will happen is that naturally uh, these pink dots, these impurities will travel around and if they run into this wall, they'll go through it. Uh, but then once they're there, they'll get stuck. And so they'll all travel to the left side and they'll just be over here. And so this is osmosis. Basically trapping these impurities to the left side or on whatever back side of the selectively permeable membrane. And as a result, the water levels is actually different. So you have a higher water level in the side with all the impurities, and you have a lower water level in the side with no impurities. Uh, and this is because all of the pressure is building up here and these impurities are clogging the pores for the water to get back. And this is just a general property of osmosis. And so let's say that we're now trying to use osmosis to purify our water. Well, we've purified some of it, right? We have it over here and it's all clean, but we still have most of our water over here and we don't want to. So if we now apply a force, either by just pressing down on it um, or maybe gravity, then we can push the water down and it'll scoot back to the right-hand side because water can go both ways uh, and all of the impurities will still be trapped. So what you'll end up with is a water level that's maybe more like this and a really dense section of all of your impurities. And so this is reverse osmosis. And now we have tons of clean, yummy water and so lots of places use this. It's actually used on like huge scales in industry to purify water for a city. And it's also used on just a scale for an individual inside your own refrigerator. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Reverse Osmosis in Refrigerators. Mm -hmm.